hello guys and welcome back to this channel this is Khan City Academy and in today's video we are going to solve two questions on the NovDec 2020 InterScience paper now for this question we have a velocity time graph of a body and then we are going to find the acceleration of the body in the first second that is for i and then for ii we are going to find the total distance covered by the body so without wasting much time Let's find I and then I, I. So for I, we have to find the acceleration of the body in the first second. So we are going to consider this triangle. That is triangle E. Because for triangle E, we have from 0 to 1 second. That is the first second. Now we all know that acceleration is the change in velocity with respect to time. Now let V2 be the final velocity and then V1 be the initial velocity of the body. Now at time 0 seconds we have the initial velocity V1 to be 0 meter per second. And then at time 1 second we have velocity V2 to be 20 meter per second. So the acceleration is going to be 20 minus 0 divided by time, that is 1 second. So 20 minus 0 divided by 1 is equal to 20. So we have acceleration to be 20 meter per second squared. So now let's find ii, that is the total distance covered by the body. So to find the total distance covered by the body, we need to find the area of this figure. Now this is a trapezium. So the area of a trapezium is equal to half times A plus B all in brackets times H. So A is the side from point 0.1 to point 0.4. So we have A equals 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. And then B is the base of the trapezium. So from point 0 to point 6. So 6 minus 0 is equal to 6. And then the height, that is H, is from 0 to 20. Now the total distance covered, D, is equal to, we have half times E. Now A is 3. And then we have B as 6. And then times h that is 20. So when you simplify, you have 90 meters. So the total distance covered by the body is 90 meters. Now let's move on and solve the second question. So let's solve for the second question. Now in the second question, we have a simple electrical circuit, and then we are supposed to find I, the value of the current I in the circuit and the potential difference or the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor. So for this circuit, we have a 12 volt DC source and then we have 3 resistors, 2 ohm, 3 ohm and then 5 ohms resistors connected in the circuit. So first of all, we are going to find the current I flowing throughout the circuit. Now to find the value of I, we need to find the total resistance of these three resistors. Now these three resistors are connected in series. So the total resistance RT is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 5 which is equal to 10 ohms. Now how do we know that these three resistors are connected in series? Now for resistors connected in series we have the same current flowing through each of the resistors involved. So if you have any set of resistors connected sequentially and then we have the same current flowing through them, then those resistors are connected in series. So the total resistance RT is equal to 10 ohms. Now let's find the current I. Now according to Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to I times R. So we can make I the subject by dividing through by R. So we have V divided by R. 
now the potential difference or the voltage is 12 so we have 12 divided by r the total resistance in this case rt is 10 ohms so we have 12 divided by 10 now 12 divided by 10 is equal to 1.2 so we have the current to be 1.2 amperes so how do we find the potential difference or the voltage across the two ohm resistor now for resistors connected in series whenever we have current flowing through this resistor we are going to experience a voltage drop across the resistor so for the two ohm resistor when the current i flows through it we are going to experience a voltage drop across the resistor and then for the three ohms resistor we are also going to experience a voltage drop across the resistor when the current flows through and the same happens to the 5 ohms resistor now at the end the sum of the voltage drops should be equal to the source voltage or the 12 volts so to find the voltage or the potential difference across these two ohm resistor then we are going to use ohm's law so we have v 2 ohm that is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor is equal to i that is the current flowing through the circuit times the value of the 2 ohm resistor so we have i to be 1.2 and then we are going to multiply with the value of the resistance that is 2 so 1.2 times 2 is equal to 2.4 so the potential difference or the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor is equal to 2.4 volts so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and please do well to subscribe for more interesting videos bye bye